you know what, guys? Let's keep it 100%. Um, today was not a bad day. Today was cool. I had a great time. Um, just living today. You know, I woke up. My lower back hurt again. Um, I did my best to try to go to the gym. Uh, I did a couple movements and realized that it just wasn't going to happen. You know, I, I was there for about 35, 40 minutes. So I guess I technically did go to the gym. But, uh, you know, it was nothing... Nothing note where I felt like I didn't get anything done, you know. My lower back hurts, so... You know, I tell people when they have problems, did you exhaust everything that you could to fix the problem? And when I think about my back, you know, um, I definitely haven't exhausted every single option to fix the problem, you know. There's so many different things that I could try to do. I did get a massage that day and it helped that day, you know, but... I need to strengthen my lower back, I need to stretch my lower back, I need to ice my lower back, and then I need to heat, you know what I mean? There's so many things that I could be doing that I haven't done. So I'm going to stop complaining about my lower back, and I'm just going to do my best with my knowledge to just fix the problem. Other than that, guys, you know, um, today wasn't a weird day. I was in no funk today. I felt I felt pretty good, you know, like the last two days were, I felt like a weird fog, like a little funk, but today was cool. Like I had no problem with today. My girlfriend's going to be coming home in about six days. So I'm excited about that. We'll probably be going on a couple adventures. So that's, that's cool. Um, I can't expect this journey to be all roses and butterflies, you know, in the past, whenever I would hit the first wall, which I've already hit. You know, and bust through plenty of them. But whenever I would hit the first wall, I would just give up. Like, this is a sign that it's not supposed to be. Like, no. Like, if there's anything in my way, I'm going to get past it. No matter what that is. You know what I mean? No matter what you want to throw at me, I'm going to get past it. Because this is this is my time. In the past, I would make an excuse. Like, in L.A., I would have ate bad and just gave it up, you know. In L.A., when I was dead tired, I would have made an excuse to not edit a video. And, and then you would have never heard from me again. Well, this is different. You know, I feel like this is really my time to go and get it. Like, I, I don't I don't believe that I should let anything hold me back anymore. So there's no excuse for me. I, you know, I waited all day to make a video because I didn't feel like filming again because my lower back and I was frustrated. But guess what, guys? I'm still here. I delivered the video to you guys because I need to check in no matter what. Whether I want to or not, this is my obligation to you guys because you're invested in this or else you wouldn't keep watching. So... You know what? I thought I was going to leave. I, I got something to say, actually. I do. I want to tell you guys a little story now that we're just talking. Uh, this is a message to everybody who's ever felt like this because I know I'm not the only one and I've learned from this. So then, so basically when I was going through my four year stretch of just depression and eating myself to death and my like self worth, my self worth was so low, I wanted to run away. I wanted to get away. I thought that a new a new scenery was going to trump who I was as a human being, which never works. I decided I would move to Davis. Davis is awesome. So I, I went there because I was running away. And I've never said this publicly, but I was running away and I thought that I could go somewhere and I thought that I could just um, start anew. I thought I could run away from who I was as a person and it doesn't work that way. If any of you guys have vices, you know, if you think that moving away is going to trump that addiction and just make you magically a new person, I'm here to tell you guys I've lived it. It doesn't exist. I tried to leave this place so I could get better and do this and that. And all it did was spiral me further down into a depression. Because at that point, I didn't have anyone to check on me. It was just me and my thoughts. And, you know, my girlfriend, she stuck with me when I was just a fucking weirdo. Like I was out of it. So thank you uh, for sticking with me. That's crazy. I don't I don't know how you do it. Um, but thank you. We're happy. So my message is that you can't run away from who you are. If you have a problem, you need to stand and fight and you need to battle it. You don't need to go anywhere because it's only going to make the problem worse. When you start to try to run away, it could distract you for a day or two, but eventually it's only going to get worse. And I found that out the hard way. I thought I would put that into the universe and uh, anyone who needed to hear that, you know, you heard it from me, okay? If you have a problem, stay and fight the problem, you know? I thought that there was no way that I could, I could do what I'm doing here at Martinez. I didn't think it was possible. I thought it was a curse put on me. I, I thought it was over, you know what I mean? And, and I thought I had to start anew. I was going to go anywhere else but here. Work on your mindset. Mindset trumps all circumstances. Remember that. You know, that's my positivity to put in the world today. I love you guys. I hope all you guys are doing well. Thank you guys for following this journey. 
and uh, it only gets better from here. So I will see you guys.